All right guys, what is up? It is Sensei Swole checking in for a new video on the channel. Today I'll be back at it again with another information related video. And today's video is gonna be a training related video for my top three exercises for growing your chest. Now there's plenty of great chest exercises out there. If I was to list them all, I'd be listing about 15 to 20. But what I wanna do today is list my top three exercises for training chest and that I've had the greatest results from in the gym over the past few years. Now, of course, there's many different styles and movements for training chest, just like there is for every other part of the body. There's bilateral movements using both parts of the body or both arms when doing chest movements. Or there's unilateral, which is one at a time, targeting one pec at each time on a movement. Now I'm gonna dive straight into it and start by listing these top three exercises. Just a little disclaimer, these are not in any particular order. The first exercise doesn't mean it's the greatest of all three. These are just my top three that I like to include in my workout routine. Now the first exercise is the classic, the flat barbell bench press. Now this exercise is always regarded as one of the best exercises for training chest, especially for gaining some mass. But the reason I'm personally including this in my top exercise is because of the area that it can affect or target when training with this exercise. With training chest, people tend to forget the separation in the actual pec which is the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor, which makes up that thin little strand on the top portion of the pec, which is often neglected. Now, the reason why I like to chuck in the barbell bench press is because it recruits muscle fibers from both the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor. The reason why I opt for the barbell variation of this flat bench press as opposed to dumbbells is because on this exercise, you feel like you have better control because you're moving as one using both arms at the same time, which is you have better control on the weight and also the bar path when you're going all the way up for the concentric and then slowing the rep down when coming down with the barbell to just above your chest for that eccentric portion. As well as being able to load on the weight quite well on this exercise as opposed to single hands on a dumbbell variation of this movement. This can mean greater opportunities for adding on weight to the bar, increasing your strength, as well as your hypertrophy gains as a result of progressive overload. I have personally switched between the barbell variation and dumbbell variation throughout my training, especially when I've hit plateaus on a barbell variation. I usually go to a dumbbell option for a few weeks or maybe a month, increase my strength on there, and by the time I've done that and switch back to barbell, I can start progressively overloading that weight again for the next few weeks. But in terms of the actual mind-muscle connection and benefits in terms of hypertrophy, I would recommend that this is the best variation of this movement and just a staple to chuck in because it's one of the easiest chest movements that you can start to learn, master, and control really well with time under tension and other techniques such as slowed negatives and greater eccentric portions. And like I said before, it does help you target the majority of the chest, including that pec minor. Now, as I mentioned before, we do want to hit the upper chest. So for exercise number two, it is the incline dumbbell bench press. Now, the reason we chuck this in is because of its greater emphasis on the upper chest. Yes, it still hits the pectoralis major, but it puts a greater emphasis on that upper part of your chest and more so the clavicular head, leading towards the upper chest shelf on your pec. I've definitely noticed in my experience and through others that the pectoralis minor, so the upper portion of your chest, can be neglected either through lack of knowing how to hit it in certain exercises or just sticking to the standard barbell and dumbbell bench presses for days and the standard pec deck flies. So you really wanna chuck in a movement like this which can emphasize that area and really target it and cause some hypertrophy. And it's pretty well known by most people and through my experience that the upper chest can lack growth when compared to the pectoralis major just because it is often neglected in workouts or certain exercises to target the upper chest just aren't included until later when people realize that they're lacking the actual shape on their upper chest and need to grow a well-developed chest. Usually chucking in this movement with a 45 degree angle on a bench is great. You feel really good mind-muscle connection once you get that form down pat and it leads to great growth when chucking this in as a staple throughout your chest workout. And now the third exercise, so exercise number three for developing a great overall chest is dips. Now this isn't your standard tricep dips. These are body weight dips as well, but with a slight twist on them. When performing this movement, you wanna do it as such that you're actually leaning your body forward, possibly pulling your knees away from your torso, so behind you, and this puts a lot of great emphasis on the lower portion of your chest. So with some people, they really wanna increase their mass or you know, sculpt their lower chest just to get a really nice shape. So you can usually chuck in this movement to really target that lower portion of your chest 
just as we chucked in exercise number two to target our upper portion of the chest. And this is a great exercise because if it is performed as I just mentioned, with leading your torso forward and having your legs flexing backwards, you really create great emphasis on that lower portion of your pec and you should almost feel like your muscle fibers are tearing when you're performing this exercise, especially when you chuck it in towards the end of the workout as I do. You can also progress pretty well on these from the body weight standard by chucking in extra weight with a weight belt or even putting a dumbbell in between your legs. I only started doing this movement recently as before I used to do the standard high to low cable flies to really hit my lower chest, which was definitely great, but I feel like this benefited me way more because I felt the mind muscle connection greater. I honestly felt the stretch and tearing like sensation way better on this exercise as well. And it helps develop some strength in your tricep dips as well as you are gonna be using them to stabilize and also push through this movement. So the added benefit of hitting your triceps pretty well in this movement, but creating a greater emphasis on your chest by doing that little tweak I mentioned before. And that was it for the video. Really quick, just covering three exercises, how I like to perform them, and possibly reasons why I substituted these exercises into my routine as compared to some others. If I was to list a multitude of chest exercises I've tried, I'd be here all day. So these are my top three, barbell flat bench press, incline dumbbell bench press, and dips with that little tweak to hit your lower chest. Give it a go. Let me know if you enjoy these exercises if you did, and drop a comment in the comment section below if you want me to explain my top three or top five exercises for other muscle groups, such as the back, legs, or specific ones such as for biceps, triceps, calves, adductors, forearms, and maybe just drop a comment and a like and a subscribe to show support to the channel. It really makes a difference, helps with that YouTube algorithm. And if you're new, just hit the subscribe button to follow along on the journey. That was it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Go hit some chests, try these out, and let me know how you go. Sensei Swole, checking out.